Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know, my name's Kyle, uh, owner of RR Buildings, and we're here at the Modest House. This is what we dubbed this building behind us that we built. And we're gonna do a kind of a final walkthrough for us. The customer has had the drywaller in, the painter in, uh, they're wrapping up some mechanicals. And what we wanted to do is now that everybody's kind of touched this and done their job, getting all the penetrations in, plumbing, electrical, HVAC, all that good stuff, we wanted to do a final blower door uh, test to see kind of where this ended up because we know what we had when it hadn't been touched yet and our air control layer was done. Spoiler alert, that was a 0.39 ACH50, which is great. Um, but I'm assuming we're gonna take a hit on that because everybody's had their hands in it and we're not here to manage it. So I, I can't tell you everything that was done, but hopefully it's not too bad. Let's go inside. We got the blower door running right now. Let's see where it's at and then we'll do a quick tour. So those of you that followed this video uh, series along the way since the beginning, because you know less than a year ago, this was just a big grass lot. You might wanna see how it turned up. So let's go inside. Okay, biggest problem guys is no lights in here yet. All the wiring's been done, but no lights powered. So as we walk down here, down the hallway, we've got the red door of truth and it's gonna have to recalibrate because we just opened the door, creating a huge hole in the air control layer. So we're getting right around 50 Pascals and we're sitting about a 1.8, 1.78, 1.79. So, you know, that's actually, it's not horrible. It's really hard for me to say that because it's not nearly as good as when we left it. But what has happened since we've left specifically is things like this. If I run my hand right here, I can barely, but I, I'm pretty sure, I, I wish I had one of those smokers. I can feel some air movement. That is because this is an air return that goes up exits our air control layer, goes into the attic, as, as well as every other return and supply that is in every room, and it, it goes back to the garage where there is an air handler, and so it has to leave the air control layer to go there. Any sort of hole or miscalculation in putting their duct wrap on by that contractor can in introduce air leakage and I can feel it almost when I stand in a doorway, I can feel some air movement, okay? So that's one thing that I know is probably contributing to some, some air control layer loss and a gain in CFM, which is increasing our ACH50 number from a 0.39 to a 1.8, okay? Code, I do believe, is three ACH50. So we're well under that. This is still a very well-built home and my client is gonna be super happy, but it's kind of eye-opening to think between that. Greg, what are some of the other things that we talked about that we've got going on? So we've got plumbing that we know when we did our test in our walls, we've got where the pipes that are just sleeves that are going through the concrete, the plumber used those to push water lines through. Those go outside. Yeah. So they're not sealed off probably. I mean, I, we, didn't we, seal them. we sealed them off when we did our blower yes. door, but now they're probably open inside the wall cavity, allowing a little bit of air. Now, the solution to that is we might be able to go into the mechanical room where those pipes are coming out of the concrete in those sleeves and fill those up with maybe some spray foam or something once the mechanical contractors are done with the plumbing. Another thing that we know is in the bathrooms, we have three bathroom vents. Yep. Greg had a great idea, right? We have these 10 foot tall ceilings. We should have dropped those ceilings in the bathrooms, maybe to nine foot, put our bathroom vents inside the air control layer. Two things that would have, would have served. One, a small room with a tall ceiling just feels a little bit weird to me. Number two, it would have kept the box of the blower, the, the whole housing of that blower, the lights, the electrical connection, it would have kept all of that inside the air control layer. And then we would have just had to detail a hard pipe going out the wall. That's something that I think we're gonna think about next time. We have three of those and we have a dryer vent that is just opened up to the world, going outside with one of those kind of 
chintzy yeah, plastic damper. dampeners. Damper. It's not sealed. It's not going to be perfect. It's sucking air in. So, and an attic access. Oh, and we have an attic access in here that is just a piece of drywall sitting on top of drywall that's painted and it could be caulked and it will probably get better. So all those things to say, we're sitting at a 1.8. I'm disappointed in the fact that we worked really hard for a 0.4 and we can't really control everything. You know, if we were to build our own houses, I think we would probably control a lot more. Mm -hmm. But this might be a good learning lesson to those out watching, like, hey, you can do all the details, but unless you have your hand in every detail, you have to expect that there's gonna be some problems. And I think this is like that old saying, shoot for the stars, land on the moon. Yep. So we did the best we could. It was really good, but we fell a little short at the very end. And I think, like I said, if we tested our own personal houses, we'd probably be sitting at like a 10 <laughs> ACH 50 for real. Like my house is horrible. I, I know that. So I'm happy. I'm not satisfied, but I'm happy with where this ended up. Let's do a little tour. I'm curious, uh, you know, after hearing this, if you guys have followed this whole series, what do you guys think? Is that normal? A lot of you out there might have more experience. Like, I think the whole coolest part of a, a blower door is being able to do the multiple tests because now Greg and I learned, like, it's not us. And I don't mean that, like, egotistically. Like, if we do our job, that's not the problem. It's right. after we're done making sure that the details are done. Have you guys seen that same experience and does it seem like anytime you do a project, obviously in my mind I knew it was gonna be really good at the beginning and get worse, but that seems excessive. I feel like there's gotta be something. Like we can do better I well, guess, as a team, you know. We need, a, we need a thermal and we need smoke. Yes. Because I feel like to go from a 0.39 to a 1.8, there has to be something that I don't know about other than you know, these couple things. Like right. the showers were a big deal, but those are all closed in yep. now. They're concreted. I don't know. Anyway, let's do a quick little tour. So we are standing in the kitchen and this is kind of nice because it looks like this is where all the cabinets are gonna go. So we've got this nice island here. Looks like we've got a fridge, a stove, this wraparound, we've got a sink, dishwasher. You can really feel the kitchen here now. And this is like an eat at counter. So I think the whole goal for my client was they didn't want a dining room per se. So if you're in the comments and you're like, what the heck, that's not very big. This is what they wanted, you know? And over here, this is going to be just your, what would you call it? Your common space, couch, TV, yeah. you know, fireplace. Living room. Living room, yeah. It's just a simple living room, walk-in closet. I think it's cool to see the space after the last time you guys were here with us, you know, most likely it was all studs. So you don't really get a feel for it. Uh, let's go check out the master suite in here. Greg, do you think it's big enough? I think so. I think this is when I do my house, this is how big our master suite will be. Yeah, what was this, 16 by 16 roughly? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good space for a master. I like the way they did the window up here because it allows you to have bed space or furniture, mm -hmm. but not, you know, not. You can put your bed wherever you want. Yeah, and you still you get all that daylight. That light. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then we've got the master bath, which I think is huge. Wait till you guys see the size of the shower. Not to mention the this closet. massive walk. I'm jealous of that. Even though I don't have a ton of clothes, my wife's clothes all get piled into my area because she does and I would love to have this. But uh, take a look at this here. This is uh, our good buddy, Joe the plumber, is actually also Joe the shower floor guy because this is a stamped concrete. So we've got the zero clearance. Well, I'm not gonna say zero because this I think is gonna get either, I think this is tiled or it could be LVP to a transition. So, and then this will be a, a glass, uh, wall Fire. with a door. I think they're doing a door. I can't remember. Yeah, I think the whole thing is gonna be glass. Yeah, and then this is a big walk-in shower. Massive. I don't know what they're doing in there, but we can all imagine. Okay, uh, let's go over here and uh, let's go take a look at the... Uh, okay, I'm, I'm joking, guys, okay? Greg, if this was yours, you, you know what you'd be doing in there. Well, showering, of course. Showering, of course. So coming down the hallway, we've got this 
uniquely orange room here, which is cool. I think everything is getting white trim, so it'll probably look really nice. You can see where they've marked out beds, you know, massive closet, plenty big enough bedroom. And now if we cross the hallway, I love this, okay? Greg pointed this out, and I think this is absolutely hilarious. Sad. Our customer, even though I don't like it, he's a Packers fan. Greg's a Packers fan, mm -hmm. I'm a Bears fan, yet, we come in here and he has an orange looking room and a blue room, just like my bears. So I think he did that for me, Greg. Um, but this is another bedroom that is actually doubling as an office space. And you may say, how? Well, this is right here where my customer's wife is gonna be putting a desk. These will be opening doors like this. And literally she wanted a space just to work close the doors and if somebody is here as a guest it's not in the way all the paperwork all the bills all your stuff it's not a bad idea i actually kind of like it and then we've just got a normal closet so another large bat uh bedroom and then this one has their own so would you call this an end suite maybe so they have their own full uh, bath as well and we once again have the same thing going on and if you didn't see it in the last bathroom these are all sloped to the front so there is a there's a drain right here in the front and when this gets the glass they're also getting onyx walls so that full um like man-made looks like a nice stone uh wall i don't know how to explain it they're really nice they're easy to put in they're not cheap but that's what the showers are all getting. They're glass with an onyx wall, sloped drain, and then we've obviously got sink, and I think all the bathrooms also have like a big vanity cabinet. Let's go take a look at this other bathroom. Now this is the bathroom that's gonna be more of like your common bathroom, so anybody that's a guest here, but it's still gonna be a full, so whoever's using the third bedroom would also use this same deal they're basically an exact replica from bedroom to bedroom and then the last thing we have is we go by our blower door test which i can turn off okay is the laundry room we got a nice bank of cabinets another tall uh, vanity washer dryer and my guess is maybe some storage up high but uh guys so that's the house we all know everybody's interested in the house but I wanna show you how the garage has turned out because I am super pumped with what my customer has done in there and uh, I think it looks awesome. So let's head out there. I just gotta take this blower door uh, apart and we'll go out into the garage. All right, so taking the door off, I thought, you know what, before we show you the garage, let's just throw the blower door in the garage, add the square footage. Let's see what the ACH 50 is with the house and the garage. So we're sitting at a 2.3, seven right but you guys i don't know if you can see this before i show you the garage itself look at this gap on the garage door i can almost stick my hand if i just take the door and just close even just my side look what happens to the ach we're like at two 1.99 1.98 there's no sega myrex in here our air control layer is our vapor barrier which is six mil poly so i mean that's pretty cool these garage doors they could be detailed a little better on my shop what i did was i ran an interior perimeter seal which is on the actual jam and then i did that residential style trim that closes to the door but greg had a good point and i don't know if it's true 100 percent, but i think there's some truth to it we have jack shaft operators in here on these doors instead of the traditional trolley operator that pushes the door closed as it finishes. And that does obviously allow movement. Now you gotta remember, I am depressurizing this space. So I'm sucking air out of this space, which is drawing air in or pressurizing from the outside, hence, why the blower door is sucking in. So these doors are getting sucked in, allowing air to come in about around these cracks. But that's what's gonna happen most of the time. You're gonna have a big wind outside, it's gonna be pushing against the door, and it's going to create that opening. So that's why we like to do the depressurization instead of 
pressurizing. Am I saying that right, Greg? I'm depressurizing, sucking air out, mm -hmm. which is, yeah. Collapsing the building. Whatever. Anyway, I thought that was a cool thing to do. I wanted to share that with you guys because when we built this, we talked about how this space, which is a 36 by 48 garage, is not air controlled and detailed as tight as the house, but there's a lot less penetrations. We don't have HVAC lines going everywhere up into the attic space. We don't have plumbing and electrical and all that other stuff because what my client didn't hear was he surface mounted and he took the time to spray paint all of the conduit. It looks gorgeous in here. I love it. I don't know if these lights are my favorite. They're a little bit too blue, blue yeah. you know there's too much light for me i love the cree lights i think i think you should have went with the cree lights in here because those are nice but black fans black pipe he even transitioned back to galvanized going down the walls i think it was a miss i think he could have painted those white and that would have looked really good we've had a client do that before too but i love the way the black trim the black garage door um mounts and uh, Rail. rails, that's all black. The black door, it's a really cool space. He's got a lot of work ahead of him. He's got a guy doing all the finishes, cabinetry trim, uh, but he's well on his way. This place is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a great house for them and I'm excited for him and I enjoy doing it. Greg and I were talking about how cool it is to come back to see a space that you created with your own two hands over the course of a few months, you know, I mean, less than half, well, about half a year, I guess. It's awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little comeback video, a little blower door test. We learned a lot about our buildings, maybe the process and managing those subs down the line, even though I don't GC most of our projects. So I'm kind of hands off after we're done, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys learned something. Let me know if you did down below in the comments what you think about the modest house three bedrooms, three baths. I will also throw a little plug out there. If you guys wanna purchase the plan for this house, among other houses and projects that we've done here on YouTube, I do have that available. I'll put a link down below. They're just affordable plans for you guys to learn how we build our details. And if you wanna use it as your own home plan or barn plan, good for you. Uh, you're probably not gonna find a cheaper plan on the internet. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here, clean up our blower door, uh, and hey, we'll catch you on the next video because we got some really cool projects coming down the line. See you later.